Hey guys, today I'm just making a short video in response to a bunch of your questions about the flag at the White House because also it's really, really cold and I don't feel like going out and doing much. <laughs> so there's a mini motorcade at the Norwegian ambassador's house. There's a police vehicle with two U.S. government SUVs. Not sure who's there. Hey guys, good morning. It's Thursday? Yeah, like I said, I lose track of these things. Anyway, I'm out here by the White House just to start this morning. We're not going to hang out here very long. Uh, the Supreme Court Justice Breyer is due to arrive any minute, actually. And a lot of you have been sending me messages, what flag is flying at the White House? And, well, I know what flag is flying at the White House, but I'll tell you what, I'm just going to show you. Yeah, that's my channel, Show Not Tell. So let's go over to the South Lawn, take a look at the White House flag, maybe see the Supreme Court Justice, and then get something to eat. So this point actually gives you a good view over the tennis court flag, and then you can see the flag over the White House in the background. So over here, guys, we actually see some of the contractors out here on the South Lawn. These are the Whiting Turner guys, I think, that I showed you the other day. They've got a trencher, actually, putting in the trench. It's probably part of this conduit program. Supposedly, it's supposed to be finished in April 2022. That's what they're all saying, but <laughs> it's government work, so who knows how long it's going to go on. So a lot of contractors out here chatting, and there's a bunch of trucks out here today. There's even a sort of a forklift type vehicle over here. What's he got? Oh, he's got like a big cement, I don't know what you would call that, basin, conduit sort of thing. And that's being put into the ground. That guy's going to like have to ride it down, Dr. Strangelove style. <laughs> Oh, another thing, the flags. There are the flags over the White House today. The POW MIA flag and the American flag. They're dropping that in the ground. So I was gonna get a hot dog, but that guy is still setting up his little van and what I've now learned, that means cold hot dogs, not yet. That's a so this vehicle just arrived with his lights on. I'm not sure if that's Justice Breyer. It could be. They seem to be cleared all the way through. Like the Secret Service went and got them. Let's see if they turn. If they turn it up onto uh, West Executive, that's probably what it is. Yeah, they're going in. That's probably him. They probably went over to his house and picked him up. And now he's going in to meet with Joe Biden, and they're going to have a joint press conference at 12.30. Yep, they're cleared right on through the gates. So today we see Pepco trucks. Pepco is the electric company for Washington, D.C. And quite a few Pepco trucks up here where yesterday we saw all the work being done on the steam tunnels. So maybe they're taking advantage of the open crack in the road to put in some new conduits as well. So guys, we're out on the north lawn and I'll give you a much better view of the flag. And there you can see red, white, and blue and the POW flag. There's another view of the flag. Someone was asking about antennas. There are a few antennas. You can see one behind that chimney there. I don't think those are antennas. I think those are actually lightning rods, perhaps, on top of that uh, chimney there. But uh, there's a few little things sticking up here and there. You can see some sticking there. There are some little antennas here and there, if you know what you're looking for. Some of those do look like, I don't know, lightning rods is what I used to call them as a kid. Maybe they are or not. Yeah, that one's definitely a lightning rod, I think. And then there's the flag. If you're really a fan of antennas, then the new executive office building is the place for you. That is, I think, actually where the Secret Service is based. That's where the missile battery is I showed you yesterday. And that is part of the White House complex. It's just, just right across the street from the White House itself. So that is kind of like Antenna City up there. 
Uh, pretty calm. There's a big announcement going on with Justice Breyer and Biden right now. But over here, we've got a little protest going on. I think it's something to do with the Equal Rights Amendment. Are they coming back with that today? I thought there was a, some legislative movement. Let's go check out these people. Now, huge packs. We have the uh, political yep. action. The ERA. When I say we, I mean the whole crowd of women's movement organizations. And we're all together. Every organization's with us. But of course, now has been leading the way. So I want to introduce uh, Bear Atwood from the National Organization for Women. Amazing thing. Now has been at the forefront of bringing the ERA into the Constitution since the very beginning, as Ellie just said. And our men. So there's what's on the roof. A couple spotters, tripods, a couple portable antenna there. There's your flag again. Some cameras over there. There is some antennas over there. That's a big one right there. Hey guys, editing note. I filmed a little bit of video yesterday about reflections on the windows on the second floor of the White House. But during the edit, I didn't put it in the video yesterday. So I'm gonna put it in the video today. I also filmed again today the same thing. So watch the timestamps. Uh, both of these are on the same subject, but one of them was filmed yesterday and one's filmed today. Let's see up there in the second floor window, there is a reflection of something from out here. But then over here, you can actually see the reflection of column yeah and the blue sky behind it and then all that artwork that's up on top so a lot of you have been asking about reflections in the window on the second floor and so I'll just show you some of the reflections that we see at this moment but one of you was like you went past the windows too fast I'm unsubscribing I'm like okay whatever <laughs> so we'll go slow some reflections of the trees there. In yesterday's video, I showed you some of the reflections there. You can see, looks like some lights are on in the second floor over there. These all got their curtains down. But then if you go over again where we saw the reflection yesterday, you can see some of the reflection again today. That's the kitchen down there, the dining room. Oh, here's one of those holes. Those workman's holes or whatever you guys called that yesterday. Boss's window, I think you said. So over there you can see the Marine. You can see a lot of TV crews. I think if Breyer comes out and makes a statement after his announcement, it'll be right there in front of the entrance to the West Wing. There's a few crews there. A lot of the crews are still over in there much much warmer little tents <laughs> not by much warmer it's really chilly today that the wind he's just started speaking it's 12 30 so those guys are going to be out there for at least a half hour or so one last look at the flag there you go so yeah remember we saw that uh, mini motorcade at the norwegian embassy or the norwegian ambassador's house this morning i couldn't quite figure out who it was uh, I now know it's the Norwegian Prime Minister. He is in Washington, D.C. for meetings, Russia, Ukraine kind of meetings. He's also the head of the U.N. Security Council this month. So Norway is presiding over the U.N. Security Council this month. So he's got some sway and he's in town doing a lot of work. Hey, Thank you. Thank you very much. So yesterday I showed you CIA headquarters. Well, basically a fence. <laughs> but a few of you asked if there's any other places that uh, the intelligence community was working from in D.C. Well, yeah, there are. Let's uh, take a look at one here. Or maybe, maybe two. Well, yesterday I tried to show you the CIA and all I could show you was basically a fence. I can't show you this building right here. That is the original OSS headquarters and the building behind it as well. And those buildings are believed, strongly believed, to be occupied by CIA even today. 
So guys, we're up here in Bethesda, Maryland, and I'm in, well, yet another strip mall. Something about uh, strip malls and the intelligence community, I guess. <laughs> Yesterday we showed you a restaurant that's basically a CIA hangout. And today I'm going to show you a little facility that, well, a lot of people just kind of ignore. Because it looks, well, it looks like just about everybody else's normal little building. So the building that you see in front of me is the Intelligence Community Campus Bethesda, ICC Bethesda. This used to be the Defense Mapping Agency, which then became the National Geospatial Agency, but then they got moved, I think, down to Virginia, and this building was made available to the office of the ONDI, the National Director of Intelligence. The ONDI basically rebuilt this campus, renovated it, made it look really, really nice. And now there's something like 16 different intelligence agencies located inside here, including the National Intelligence University, which is a degree-granting university, uh, the Defense Intelligence Agency, ONDI's Counterintelligence Agency, um, and many others. It's kind of like the we work of spooks, <laughs> the we work of spies. They all kind of work here in quiet and quaint little Bethesda, Maryland, a suburb of Washington, D.C. Now, before you think I'm just driving around showing you spy centers, there's a reason for being up here sushi. There is this great little sushi place next to a gas station. Yeah, I call it gas station sushi. Got these two old Japanese guys. Their English ain't that good, but uh, they make pretty good sushi. I see a lot of Japanese embassy staff go up here. So I'm gonna get my kids a snack for after school and then we'll head back home. So over there is the extremely overpriced gas station. And over here is the sushi. So guys, um, yeah, it was a short video today. There's not much going on, yeah? Maybe tomorrow there'll be more something more interesting. We've got a Marine one going off to Andrews, then to Pittsburgh. Um, indications are that Biden might spend the weekend in D.C., which means we might catch him this weekend at church. Then we might go to Camp David or Delaware. I, nobody knows right now. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. We'll see you tomorrow. If it's not too cold, not too snowy, we'll try to get out and make a video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.